Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to online class. I am K. M. Mohan Sain, Eastern English teacher, FB School and College, Dhaka. Topic Future Perfect Tense, English version. Do you know what is called Future Perfect Tense? What are the characteristics of Future Perfect Tense? What is the structure of Future Perfect Tense? Okay, let's know about it. Before starting the class, I want to show you some verb forms of English. First one, present form, middle, past form, and at the right corner, past participle form. That means present, past, past participle form. Very important things here. Number one, walk, what, what? Call, called, called. Apply, applied, applied. Dream, dreamed, dreamed. These four, these four are called a regular verb. Okay, come, came, come, no, new, known. These two are irregular verb. Forbid, forbid, forbidden, get, got, gotten, uh, play, played, played, open, open, open. This uh, for also a regular verb. But uh, here I want to mention another, another important thing, forbid, forbid, forbidden, get, got, gotten, get, get, the, Three letters G is a consonant, E is a vowel, T is a consonant. Like forbid, F O R for B I D B forbid. Six letters. And the last three letters B I D B B is a consonant, I is a vowel, and D is a consonant. That means C V C. Whenever uh, the word at the last, uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, in a word, the last uh, three letters uh, uh, will be C, V, C. That means constant, vowel constant. We have to add double D, double T, double N. Okay. It's a uh, one kind of uh, a rule. But play, play is played. Look at the word play, four letters, P, L, A, Y, play. The last three letters, L, A, Y. A is a consonant. Sorry, L is a consonant, A is a vowel, Y is a consonant. Play is played, but there is no double Y. Open, O, P, E, and open. O is uh, O, P, E, and open, four letters. The, the last three letters, P, E, and pen is a consonant. P is a consonant, E is a vowel, and N is a consonant. Uh, pen, uh, open, 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 but there is no double N, double T. Very often we can see, we can hear that uh, some uh, uh, people want to show that uh, if there is a CBC at the last three letters, we have to add double T, double D, double N, double P. But I want to say that if this rules is not correct everywhere. Please see the note. If there is CBC at, at the end of the verb, consonant, vowel, consonant, we cannot uh, always add double T, double P, or double N with the last letter of the word. See question number nine and 10. Okay, open, open, open. At the beginning of the uh, word, there is a stage. So, whenever there is a stage, uh, the rule will not be applied. Okay, okay, next. Whenever I'll get time, I'll take a class about on double P, double T, double N. Okay. Indicators or basic things. Future perfect tense, uh, uh, whenever a future perfect tense, you will get some uh, uh, group of words. Uh, okay, by uh, so, some word or group of word, by by the time, by this time, by next day, by uh, next year, before, by 9 p.m., by 8 a.m. Oh, okay. You will get these kinds of words uh, at the time of future perfect tense. Okay. Next, uh, proceed on. There's a uh, future perfect tense. I have uh, given here two definitions, two definitions. First on the definition and the for example, and second on definition, there are another for example. Examples okay, the action which will be or won't be completed before a specific time in the future is called future perfect. The action which will be or won't be, will be or won't be, the action which will be or won't be okay, uh, completed will be completed or won't be completed before a specific time in the future is called future perfect tense. Uh, examples I have uh, done the work by five days, by five days, within five days. She will have completed her uh, project by three months. I will have done by uh, my AW by five o'clock, within five o'clock. 
they won't have uh, arrived uh, by 11 p.m. Okay? Their plane schedule uh, was 11 p.m., but the weather is not clear. So we are expecting that they won't have they won't, they won't have arrived by 11 p.m. Okay? That means the action will, will be will be first three will be and only the last one for question number four is uh, only the action which will be only complete before a specific time that it is called to the yes understand formula uh, or a structure subject plus will have plus past part is form of the main verb uh, plus uh, complement them. okay uh, uh, definition two between two action in the future which one will be completed before the another is called is also called future perfect between two actions how many actions two actions in the future which one will be complete before the another uh, two action the one which will be completed uh, first is called future perfect and the second one will be uh, present or future it's present perfect in the beginning, present simple or future simple okay let's see the example He will have completed his master degree before his father comes from India. His father will come from India is another is act one action. Uh, he will have completed his master degree is another action. He will have completed his master degree before his father comes. Okay, so it is future perfect tense. She will have done her HW before his, her teacher her teacher comes. Okay, by next July I will have completed uh, MBBS. Okay, by the time he comes uh, I will have done the work. Okay, understand. Uh, so first uh, a, a definition the action which will be or won't be completed before a specific time before a specific time will be or all be will be completed or won't be completed it's called future perfect again between two actions in the future which one will be completed before the another huh? two action two action uh, this is uh, uh, this is this is first this second the first one which will be completed is called future perfect and the last one is uh, present simple or future simple okay Understand? Uh, next, next. From positive to negative. She will have done her work by next day. Negative. Uh, she won't have done her work by next day. There I have used the contraction from. They will have done it by next day. They won't have done it by uh, next day. They, look at the example. It's uh, will be or won't be. Understand? I will have done it uh, by 5 p.m. I won't have done it by 5 p.m. He will have completed his HW by 8 a.m. He won't have completed his HW by 8 p.m. Uh, by 5 p.m. Our uh, class will have completed. By 5 p.m. Our, cl our class won't have uh, completed. Understand? Uh, uh, so it is very clear that the action which will be completed or won't be completed is called this operation. Okay, next one. From positive to interrogative. Positive, uh, interrogative, and intonation. Here I have added uh, another important thing is intonation. Do you know what is intonation? Okay. Whenever your vocal cord will raise and then fall, it's called intonation. It might uh, uh, be so happen that uh, uh, it will be a stay. There is no raise or fall. It will be also. Okay. Positive. <clears throat> she will have gone to school by next day. Will she have gone to school by next day? Will she have gone to school by next day? They will have done it by next day. Will they be have done? Will they be? Will, will they have done it by next day? I will have done it by five p.m. Will I have done it by five p.m.? I will have completed. Uh, so he will have completed his W by eight a.m. Will he have completed his uh, W by eight p.m.? Our class will have uh, finished uh, by uh, five p.m. Will our class have finished by five p.m.? You understand? That means there is a intonation. Intonation means uh, the ups and downs, or uh, not ups and downs, the uh, raise and fall of the uh, vocal cord is called intonation. Okay. When about interactive sentence, at the beginning you have to use a use a auxiliary verb, and the, and at the last uh, you have to use a question mark. Understand? Uh, and uh, when about any interactive sentence, you, you have to use a stress. Will you have gone to school the next day? Will they have done it by next year? Will I have done it by 5 p.m.? Will he have completed his loss by 8 a.m.? Will our class uh, have finished by 5 p.m.? That means there is a, there is a intonation, that means it stays an intonation. So uh, I, I am sure that the tense, the perfect is clear 
I, I hope you'll uh, participate my class regularly and we'll learn a lot. Okay. Our class will continue. Please subscribe our channel and share it. Uh, channel name KM Mondoshan. You know that every day I uh, submit uh, a class uh, to uh, my YouTube channel. And please, uh, my request, uh, enjoy the class and subscribe my channel. Okay. Next class on present perfect continuous continuity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.